Hello everyone. Today we will be expanding logarithmic expressions. I have placed here uh, the three properties of logarithm, the power property, the product property, and the quotient property of logarithm. Um, we actually have a video on this, um, uh, of these properties. I will put the link of those videos in the description box below. So I've placed them over here because we're going to use these properties in expanding this logarithmic expressions that we have over here. So in this expression, we have log of 6h squared k over 5x to the one third to the base 7. How do we expand this? So first thing that we're going to do is, again, we're going to use this uh, we're going to use uh, the, the both the product and the quotient property. So if I were to expand this, this would come out to be, we're going to take each one of these. So that's going to be log of 6 to the base 7. Since this is a multiplication, so then again, product property, multiplication means you add them. So that's log of 6 to the base 7 plus log of, h squared to the base 7 plus log of k to the base 7. And then since these ones are on the denominator, that means we're dividing it. That means we minus it. So that's going to be minus. Then we take all the logs of these. So that would be minus log of 5 to the base 7. And then that's a plus because these two are multiplied together. Plus log of x to the power one third to the base seven. So this is how the expression is going to look like. Now we can simplify this some more. Now we what we used right now are the uh, pro uh, pro product property and the quotient property. Just by looking at this, we can see that we can actually distribute the um, this minus here to each of the terms here. So we're going to distribute that. So the equation would come out to be um, the first one is log of 6 to the base 7 plus. Now we have here log of h squared to the base 7. We're going to use the power property of logarithm that log of x to the exponent y is actually y log of x. So the exponent will go to the front as a coefficient. So the 2 is going to go to the front. So I'm going to write 2 here. 2 log of h to the base 7 plus k uh, log of k to the base 7 minus, so we distribute the minus, it's going to be uh, minus log of 5 to the base 7. Since we distributed this uh, negative and a positive, it becomes a negative. So that's going to be, uh, and, and then we have we used the uh, power property, the one third is an exponent, so it's going to go to the front, minus one third log of x to the base 7. And this is our uh, sim uh, expanded version of this um, logarithmic expression. So this is the expanded version of that. Now I give you a trick. Anything that is in the denominator will be subtracted when we expand it. As you can see here, uh, there's going to be a minus 5. Although we started with a plus over here since these two are multiplied together. So multiplied together, we're adding their uh, logs. But then if we distribute the, uh, the minus here, it's going to all come out negative. So anything that is on the denominator will all have a negative. That is the fastest way. This is a trick. Now let's have... Um, uh, now let's take this example right here. Now at this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we're going to expand it and try to see what you got. So this is going to be log of 4 to the base 3 plus log of m to the exponent 2 over 7 to the base 3. 
So we already we already took all of the ones on top and then we minus this. So this is gonna be a minus and then we put a bracket that's gonna be log of square root of x to the base three. And then that's a plus log of y to the fifth to the base three. Okay, now we are going to distribute again this uh, minus to each of the terms inside the bracket. So distribute these two. So, and then we're gonna use the uh, uh, power property for this to simplify it. So this would come out log of four to the base three plus, this is gonna be two over seven log of m to the base three, then we distributed it minus. Now here's the thing. Now as you can see here is square root. When we change this uh, radical expression into its exponential form, this is to the power one half. So then we can go ahead and say that this was actually log of x to the power one half to the base three and then that's a minus, because we distributed that. That would be five log of y to the base three. But then we still have the one half. Again, remember, when we change the uh, radical expression into its exponential form, then it's gonna look like x to the power one half. So this, the final answer for this one then is log of four to the base three plus two over seven log of m to the base three minus one half log of x to the base three minus five log of y to the base three. And this is the expanded version of this logarithmic expression. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!